<clears throat> yeah, what's going on? One more. Everybody's FBA Master Lord Hero, Tariq Nasheed, aka Marcus Sanders. <laughs> he, he's already done, I mean, really started it a few weeks ago. He already did what I thought he was going to do from the beginning once he jumped onto this uh, indigenous American shit. Knew he was going to backtrack. Which he has already. He's already wishy-washy with the shit to begin with. But a lot of people say, hey man, he's popular. He's spreading the word. So I'm down with it. Now, your man, the FBA king, the leader, <laughs> fucking cocksucker, the guy's a goddamn, he's the leader. You don't want to lead, shut the fuck up. It's supposed to be the, the expert on white supremacy, but yet, yet you never tell us about what Connie is doing with the white supremacy. Thanks to Tyron, I saw he, he gave me a, a new site. <laughs> where, I don't know where the hell they get these videos of Connie, but they get him. They get him. But um, everybody else can show Connie, but Tariq, nah, she, he, he's afraid to show Connie. Uh, because obviously that will show him to be a uh, liar. All this talk about white supremacy. And, you know, no matter how many people bring it up, bring Connie up and everything else, he knows that the visual impact of showing her is stronger than just saying, yeah, my mother, my uh, wife's mother is white. So now the guy's saying, in his words, FBA is a lineage. We were here first. We built the United States. And he, he steady stealing a lot of my material. You know when I came up with that Latino shit the other day. Then the next thing you know, he's talking about the same shit. And we know that was not his topic before because his assertion was always that all Latinos are white. That was his position. Now he's coming up with this Afro Latino and this other shit. I mean, this guy is something else. That's why I said, let me step back when he's talking about all this uh, tethers and all that kind of shit. I said, let me just step back. I said a few things here and there, but I said, you know what? Even if I said I started this, people say, ah, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. The popular ones, they, they're the ones who started it all. I started it. He snowballed it. But in the wrong direction. Now, he's starting to attack Afro, so-called Afro-Latinos. Which I've always attacked in the form of Dominicans. No good Dominicans, I might add. <laughs> That's how I always characterize them. If I ever meet a nice one or a cool one, that's a miracle. Just ran into an East Indian uh, Jamaican, or it could have been a Guyanese working at this store. How do I know the accent? So... That's his thing now, attacking the Afro. You know, he's attacking black. So who, who is the white supremacist? Because all he's been doing is attacking black. Now he says that the so-called FBA, our bloodline is from Nigeria. He's, he doesn't say we believe. He doesn't say the evidence shows. It, he doesn't say uh, 
many people suggest. He says, our bloodline comes from Nigeria and Ghana. Well, motherfucker, if that's the case, what was all that Native Native American indigenous talk about? Notice how he doesn't even talk about black people, black Americans as being indigenous or native anymore. Instead, he just says red Indians now. That's what he says. Motherfucker lied so much, flipped just like that. And other people were tagging along with the guy. Like, okay, okay yeah, Tariq Nashi bringing it out. Now he's bringing it back in. So now what? He said, you're African. When he says our bloodline goes to Nigeria and Ghana, he's saying you're African. But of course, you can't substantiate any of that shit because we don't look like any Nigerians. It's another thing that gets on my nerves. It's like the thing with the Jamaican. <clears throat> Hold on. It's like the thing with the Jamaican. How they always used to say, uh, yeah, we're the same people. We just got dropped off at the same boat. We're the exact same. Exact means we're indistinguishable from one another. That's what exact means. Two pizzas. You can have one pepperoni, one sausage. They're both pizzas, but they're not the same. They might taste similar, but they're not the same. We got to stop that. Nigerians have a bunch of different looks. And you have to get lucky to find a Nigerian look to match one of our looks. If we looked, if we come from Nigeria, we would, we would be indistinguishable from a Nigerian. The Igbo, that's what the latest bullshit is. They're saying, oh, most Afri black Americans are from the fucking uh, Igbo tribe. Well, they have a distinctive look. And that's not us. But I have seen that look in Dominicans, though. And I'm not lying. Told you that story about that Dominican girl that time I was working at this store. I thought she was a fucking lighter skinned Nigerian. That's how strongly she looked because she looked similar to the Nigerian lady I was dating and her sister. One of her sisters. And then she started speaking Spanish because I was like, I got to get this, get with this number. The fuck is all these fucking crazy ass phone calls? God damn. Let me see if this shit is still uh Oh this shit is still recording. Okay, god damn. Yeah, so I said I gotta get the number. And um You know the girl had big ass titties <laughs> and a big butt. I said, damn I gotta get with this once she started speaking Spanish. I knew she wasn't Puerto Rican. I said, she got to be Dominican. And that's when I said, well, I, I, I can forget about the telephone number now. Because I know I ain't about to get this number. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, that's how Dominicans are, man. That's how they are. You can forget it. <laughs> and on the Facebook, I did put the a link to a video of people might remember when that Dominican guy killed his... Uh, former girl at her wedding so you watch that show and take note of how the Dominicans they clearly look black some are light some are dark but they like mixing just like Puerto Ricans they like trying to mix the black out as much as they can but take note of how many times they call themselves Spanish or they talk about a Spanish community never black and even when some lady started some organization or something like that for the domestic abuse because the lady got shot, lady looked like a black lady. I don't know from her name. She seemed black too. And then it got turned into a Latina thing. And most of them were looking black. See, life experiences like that. 
is what got me into the discussion about these others not being down with us. And then you got Negroes like Tariq Nasheed who never had these goddamn experiences because he's living on the West Coast. They don't have Dominicans and Puerto Ricans like that. Cubans, they don't have people like that. Their main body of so-called Latinos are those, those damn Mexicans. Different people. Same language, different people. Even their fucking accents sound different. And the same thing I've noticed that the Spanish-speaking Caribbeans uh, do. I noticed it with the English-speaking Caribbean. But what really got on my nerves, and people can attest to this going back around 10 years, at least online. Well, not at least, around 10 years. Spoken. Documented. When I used to get tired of Jamaicans always talking about we. What we've done here in America. The white man, how he's treated us in this country. And I always would cringe, especially when the people from the UK would call in and say this, use the same language. I'm like, what you mean this we shit? There ain't no we. And then the UK uh, Jamaicans or Guyanese, they act like they got a connection to us. They say, oh, well, we're from Jamaica originally. We're not from Europe. Okay, well, we're not from Jamaica. Just because Jamaica was ruled by the UK and the United States was founded by the UK, that does not mean that we're related. So you got to get that through your heads. And they're the ones with the Pan-Africanism. Again, you notice how Tariq Nashi is also stealing some more of my shit. I, I, said, I said it on that show. I said, how come these Pan-Africanists refuse? And I asked them this in the past, too. How come they refuse to harass Spanish-speaking so-called Africans into being African and, to, and into recognizing their Africanness? How come they refuse to do that? One reply I got is because they don't want to be. Well, I got news for you. We don't want to be either. But it's not stopping you from harassing us. Harass them. They're your actual brothers and sisters because they're in the Caribbean. Or from it. So, this video is mainly about the fact that your man Tariq Nashi has bit, bit the bullet. Now he's back to the uh, African shit. And he keeps slipping in this Morris shit too. Which is, of course, total fiction. Um, hey, if people can prove it to me, I'll go with it. But I can actually disprove that Morris shit with a few lines. So we don't have to have a drawn out discussion. But I'll save that until... I confront somebody who is noteworthy and I guarantee you they don't have any comeback for this <laughs> I guarantee you like Justin Wilson used to say I guarantee you know who that is look him up on YouTube so if we're Nigerian, this white man, I mean, damn. This white people paranoid. I know you get out your bins and, you know, you look in my direction and shit. Like, oh, please. Uh, God damn. Anyway. These, uh, if we're Nigerian and Ghanaian, those are two different cultures, number one two generally different looks I've met and known Ghanaians we don't look like them 
But phenotype wise, I will say we would be closer to some Ghanaians than we are to any Nigerian. But they want to keep fucking targeting the white man wants to keep targeting Nigeria for us just because they have a huge population and they speak English. That's why Nigeria and Ghana keep coming up all the fucking time when it comes to West Africa. That's why people never mention the French parts of West Africa. Plus, they don't want to mention the French parts of West Africa because if people want to get into a more identity, and I ain't talking more science temple. Every time I speak, when I say Moors, I'm talking real ones. When I say more science temple, I'm talking that. Because the Moors were largely in the French West Africa. That's why they make sure that they try to attach us to Nigeria. Well, I'll tell you what, if we're Nigerian and Ghanaian, we need to sue them. We don't need to help them because they're the ones who cause all these, these problems for us. So we got to sue their asses too, then, if that's the case. So now, are we still African brothers now? Bullshit. But this is your man Tariq Nashi. FBA, all that talk. The man was lying. Once he started there, I knew he was lying. And he was lying all along the way, but people, unfortunately, you know, they're just like, okay, that's Tariq Nasheed. Cool. He could push the issue, which he has. You know, the man has gotten people to call themselves some shit that they never heard of before, a fucking FBA. <laughs> and I know him and his uh, white mother-in-law I know they gotta be laughing at times Like damn I got motherfuckers calling themselves FBA God damn just like that He's like I already know I can just say what I want to say and, and get them to come out of their pockets But god damn I told these motherfuckers What they are And they said Yeah I'm a proud FBA This is what we've always been Indigenous to America just like Tariq Nashi said. Oh, well, now we're uh, Maroons. Yeah, Maroons. Just like Tariq Nashi said. Well, now we're uh, our bloodline. We were here first. But our bloodline goes back to Africa. What? You were here before the white man. But you came from Africa. Your bloodline is African. I don't get it. And then he specifies lately in his last couple of videos, Nigeria and Ghana, the same old argument. Again, if you know these things, then they should be easily provable. There should be no debate as to what our origins are, if it's Nigeria and Ghana. So now you can trace the shit back. And speaking of tracing the shit back, the Dr. Francis Cresswell sing situation. At first, I had a hard time finding simple information, such as where she was buried, where the funeral was. But instead of looking on the internet, I said, let me look on Facebook. So I found that information. So with that information, I can backtrack. And see what's up. See if this man paid or not. So I'm going to get to that. Because I want to see. And. Cemeteries. They give you information. Especially if the shit ain't, hasn't been paid. <laughs> but. Watch. I'm going to. Call up. And. Do it in my way. So you don't want to sound like you're probing, trying to be nosy. But you got to get the information that you need. Just like those slave ships. 
they found a 750 year old I think it's a British ship or a ship off the coast of uh, England it's funny 750 years old it's not intact but the pieces that are there are almost in pristine condition the artwork is clear you know what the fuck it is or was that Clotilda only a, a dimwit would look at the Clotilda remains and say yeah that was the slave ship you can't even tell what kind of ship it was you can't even tell what the hell the shit looked like but you say yeah yeah the news said man it's the last slave ship that's what they say surprise the news lies surprise the white man lies and surprise Negroes from other countries lie in concert with the white man they love the white man I've been trying to tell people this for the longest time but they blind you, you think about this you take the pan-african shit out because that's the only thing they have to try to unify us or shall i say sedate us is that pan-african shit you take that shit out of the equation they don't have anything to do with us but that's why they push it you know people say that people join gangs because they don't have a family and that's why some of us want to join that Pan-African game. Because we're searching for an identity. We don't want to just be niggers. We don't want to be black people. We don't want to be descendants of slaves. Everybody else in this country, like I said before, has a lineage to some other country. We've been told by the white man that we came from Africa. But we don't know which part. But when you listen to the white man's Negro flunkies, it seems as if they got it all figured out. The ledgers on the slave ships. They tell you who did what. The the list of uh, 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 how many slaves they had. Well, I always say this. If they had the list of slaves, male, female, and their ages and shit, <clears throat> I assume they must have the tribes uh, listed down where they picked them up from. Who poke and who procured the slaves? They should have these things. It should be simple. It shouldn't be a mystery as to who the black Americans are. And I also tell these Negroes, a lot of these agents, they're, they're college educated. Some of them are ultra slick. They say things like the slave ledgers that proves that the ships existed. And I say this. If the ships are not around, why is the fucking log around? The ledger, why is that around? 9-11. One of the biggest points of the conspiracy was and it makes sense to the fullest how come the airplanes that crash into the world trade there's not one trace of a plane that was found in those rubbles there were no bodies of the terrorists ever recovered people presume that they were fucking vaporized so to speak but yet their passports were found keep in mind common sense people you board a plane from another country you show your passport what do you do with your passport you do one or two things most people do one or two things most people will keep it 
in their pocket. Other people might put it in a bag. Either way, if the fucking airplanes disintegrated in the bodies, how did the passport survive? Keep in mind, paper is highly flammable. Keep that in mind. Keep in mind, your body is mostly water. So if your body's vaporized, it takes a lot of heat. And it takes time. Unless the heat is extremely intense. But see, most people don't use their brains. They just say, well, you know, the, the white man said this. So, you know, the white man, you know, he's science. You know, that, that's what science is, the white man. So that, that's what they go by. But you can't go by that. You got to use common sense. So when it comes to slave ships, then you got other Negroes who say, well, you know what? You got to understand. When the slave ships got decommissioned, they took the ships apart and built homes. They built other things. And then you got another knucklehead who says shipworms ate the uh, the wood. That's why the ships are gone. These wo these worms, which are actually clams without the shell, ate. They can consume the entire ship up. Got a plethora of excuses. Decommissioned ships are not used for scrap. They're set out to sea and they're set on fire. Or they're just plain sunk. You don't take the material. You take. You might take gold or some shit like that if you got it, the cargo. But even for the most part, they just let it all go. You got Negroes making up excuses that the white man didn't even come up with. If you're one of those Negroes, you got to ask yourselves, why am I making excuses for the white man? How come he's not making these excuses? That's a good question. Why are you making excuses for the white man? Unless you're an agent or a dimwit. Because I know for a fact that most of us, and when I say most of us, I'm talking everybody on earth. Maybe except for the Chinese or something like that. And Japanese. They think whenever the white man asserts something, it's truthful because he's the authority on knowledge. He's the authority on science. He's the authority on righteousness. No. Always remind yourself how he got into power. Lying, cheating, stealing, killing. when these Negroes want us to keep remembering our history as we know it they want you to focus on the beatdowns the slavery the poverty entertainment heroes that's handpicked by the white man also known as the small hat In other words, they don't want you to get out of what Uncle Tom Negroes call the victim mentality. But see, those Uncle Tom Negroes, they blame run-of-the-mill Negroes for thinking like that. And they don't think, okay, well, black people don't own TV uh, networks or all these... Uh, Major websites. 
to funnel this propaganda through. But Uncle Tom's, they just, you know, just coons and times, all they know is if the white man disagrees, I'm rolling with the white man and I'm blaming the black man. That's all they know. Coon Negroes. <sighs> I'll tell you. All I ask for you people who believe in the slave story, the transatlantic slave trade, ask yourselves questions. You don't have to take what I'm saying and say, I don't believe you or say, I do believe you. Just examine the raw evidence, not what people told you, not what you thought that you knew. Examine the raw evidence and ask yourself some questions and then ask yourself How come I can't come up with the proper answer? That's what you got to ask yourself And the answer might be because I've been lied to Because there should always be an answer for something you should not be making up stories to answer a question. A lot of people like to do that. Oh, I can't find the answer to the question. Let me bullshit my way uh, and give some type of answer so I can act like I'm answering something. No, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is say, you know what? I don't have an answer for that. And when you don't have an answer for that, you got to figure out why you don't have an answer for that. But most Negroes in their mind, damn, he, he'll win the argument. If I say I don't have an answer So let me make something up You don't have to do that All you do Is cause more confusion And turmoil It's just easier To just say These are the facts as we know them. So again There's no evidence Mr. Nasheed Mr. Sanders so we got the evidence now that uh, Tariq Nasheed is Marcus Sanders. And we, we got that evidence now. So I can call a man Marcus Sanders now. We don't have any evidence that his name is Tariq Nasheed. <laughs> and we don't have any evidence that that museum is coming either. He glosses over that quickly. See, I, I can tell you this. If the shit was really coming and he really had something going down... To the point where money is about to change hands He'd be bragging about that shit But we'll see, we'll see But I'm really here to talk about this Nigerian Ghanaian claim And the fact that he's saying uh, We come from Africa So He lied I mean he was already double talking anyway With the We were here first We built this country we're not African. We're, we are the indigenous peoples of the Americas. That's what he said. Then slowly but surely he was breaking away from it. Then it was. We came from Africa originally, but we're no longer African. See, now Pan-Africans argument is. I don't give a damn how long it's been. Since you came from Africa, you, you're still African. And you know what? I know some people might be shocked what I'm about to say. To a degree, they can be right. To a degree. But the problem is, there's no evidence that we came from Africa. That's the problem. And I ain't going back no goddamn million years. Forget about that. If you could find... In African culture a million years ago Then hey Maybe we could talk Maybe we could talk about that But um Other than that You know I can't I can't endorse that shit so It's official Tariq Nasheed Says that 
we came from Africa. We're African. But we're a foundational, you might as well call it a foundational African American now. That's what he might as well say. Bullshit title, bullshit man, bullshit thing with no proof. And I know you're listening, you cocksucker fucker. I'm going to let you keep taking my material. You take ownership of it because now I don't even want you mentioning my name now. All the shit you've been talking, all the contradictions you've been saying, I don't even want my shit attached to your shit now. Grifter is a soft word. Confidence man is what it really is. Coon agent is what it really is. Liar is what it really is. I guarantee you if the man were not getting money from people on a regular basis, he wouldn't be doing this. I'm not getting money and I'm still doing it. Not as I used to, but I'm still doing it. Matter of fact, I just ordered some soundproof panels, so maybe that might encourage me to do even more. We'll see. But, you know, it is what it is. But it should be noted now that the man has dropped out of the We're Native to America thing and he's back to his African shit his old ways but he keeps dropping that Moorish and he keeps saying the visa Islam is real Farrakhan is real see you gotta see who the Negro supports when he supports well known coon agents what does that tell you <laughs>